Good morning and welcome to War Thunder's website. I'm Old Dead Man, your host. We are looking at devlog season finally starting, and we're starting off with an addition to the British tree with the Challenger 2 TES. But before we jump into that, let me take a quick look at the planned battle rating changes as well. They didn't do a ton of changes from what they were doing before, but they did add some vehicles that were basically modifications of existing vehicles in the tree, so like the M26s and various versions of them. Uh, they did look at the Type 90s and whether they could add better shells, but they're saying they're already doing better, so they're not considering uh, those as a main, the big shells as possibilities, but they might add a DM-43 to it. The Ozzelot and the Weissel are both still uh, getting some, uh, they're really popular and they're really effective, so they're still going up. The Chinu 2 will be getting a uh, bump in the fire rate, which is uh, going to go with its BR increase. And the Leopard 2 PL, they're go not going to add the DM-53 shell to it um, at this point in time. So they're going to uh, keep it at DR 10.7 and not change its shell just because there's been a bunch of questions about that. Uh, they did add some Phantoms to the... Uh, to the 11.3 aircraft list, the uh, FG-1 and the FGR-2. They did go ahead with the helicopter changes from 11.0 to 11.3 that they mentioned previously. So I kind of went through the list in a hurry. I didn't see any other major changes compared to what my previous video on it. But don't you worry, I will be keeping an eye out for any major changes and let you know if anything comes up. That said, I expect these changes to be implemented post-haste since today's the 30th already. Let's go on to the uh, Challenger 2 TES. Since it's just a variation of the Challenger 2F in the game, I don't expect this will be a long dev blog just because it's pretty familiar to you already. The Challenger 2 TES is a further modification of the venerable Challenger 2 utilized by the British Armed Forces. Dubbed Megatron, this variant added additional side and turret explosive reactive armor and bar armor on top of the standard Chobham composite armor. As the Challenger 2 is already tremendously familiar, this could be the shortest dev blog of the upcoming dev blog season. Challenger 2 is now deployed with this theater entry standard package, which can be customized for anticipated threats. This addition to the British tree is expected to handle nearly identically to the Challenger 2F Dorchester version already in the tree. The Challenger 2 TES is 8.3 meters long, 3.5 meters wide, and 2.5 meters tall, and weighs in at 74,840 kilograms. Since there were no engine upgrades, it tops out at 56 kilometers per hour with the added weight. It is armed with a standard L30A1 120mm rifled cannon, a coaxial 7.62 machine gun, and a remote weapon station armed with potentially a 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. The images on the dev block look kind of like they're the uh, either the 7.62 or the 12.7mm, I think the 12.7. Maneuverability is expected to be slightly worse with the added weight, and the armor doesn't change the vulnerabilities common to the Challenger 2 line versus other tanks. In War Thunder, the Challenger 2 TES will be joining the British Rank 7 tank line, expanding the top-tier lineup with another well-protected option to devastate your enemies with. So what do you think of the, uh, the TES coming to War Thunder? Yes, it is just another variation of an existing tank, but the uh, expansion of the top-tier lineup might actually help people stay in the fight even longer. If you enjoyed this dev blog, give me a thumbs up. Drop your comments below here to let me know what you think of the Challenger 2 and what vehicles you are hoping to see in the coming patch. You have a great rest of your day, and we will see you in War Thunder.